Guam Power Authority General Manager John Benaventi is disputing reports that GPA has overcharged commercial customers who are trying to become more energy efficient by miscalculating smart meters. PNC's Tim McHenry has more. GPA GM John Benaventi says PUC findings that GPA appears to be overcharging customers attempting to be more energy efficient are overblown. He says the fact that one smart meter out of 25 sampled is not that big of a deal when you consider there are 50,000 meters on island. However, according to the Lummis Consultant Group, they only sampled 25 smart meters and they were all commercial accounts. Today we have the CCMB system and we have the smart meters and all of that come together and confirm the power factor. So we're not talking about a substantial amount of money really because the power factor adjustment is only a small component of the total bill adjustment. PNC previously reported that First Green Solutions, the company who filed the complaint which prompted the PUC to investigate GPA in the first place, provided PNC with an example showing the difference in the way power factor is calculated by GPA and by First Green Solutions. The difference in the power bill on the account where the two calculated the factor was $1,800 for just one month. One of the arguments First Green Solutions brought up against GPA was that the utility was not properly reading the smart meters when calculating power factor. There was concern on First Green Solutions part that GPA ordered the smart meter and installed them using factory calibrations. They were calibrated at the factory and we took a sample of about 4,000 of the meters and did our own testing and they came out with intolerance. Both the Lummis Consulting Group and the PUC recommended that the Onward Beach Resort meter, the one meter out of the sampled 25 that showed discrepancies, should be tested by an independent party. But Aventi says that he will have GPA's report detailing how GPA arrives at its calculations ready by February 25th. For PNC News, I'm Tim Blas-McKenna.